Okay, so I'm here to show you the basic tools that you're going to need to build this rubber band dragster. You're going to need two 12 inch by 4 inch pieces of cardboard. You're going to have to measure them out yourself. Two large round circular discs, which we'll discuss how to make later. Two small circular discs. One large paper clip and two small paper clips. These can be adjusted though. You can either use three small or three large, whatever we have in a classroom. Two four and a half inch quarter inch dowel rods, which will be pre-cut for you. Tape, if needed. Scissors, which will be needed. One McDonald's straw, which will be provided for you. Rubber bands. And your hot glue stick and hot glue gun. So step one, in order to make your rubber band dragster, it's pretty simple. You have to make the base of your car. And all we gotta do for this is we take the two pieces of cardboard and we're gonna glue them together. So just take your hot glue stick just melt the hot glue onto the base of your car. Try to use a squiggle motion so that all areas are covered and nothing's sticking out. Also try to focus around the edges so nothing is also sticking out. After you're done gluing your one end, put your second end on top. Now, be very, very careful because the glue is hot and it will burn. Also, make sure you're not joking around with your partners either. And there. Now we have one solid cardboard base. The next step is to actually make the design for your rubber band dragster. So, you can either just keep it like this, or if you really want to be creative, you can make your own little design to it. And after you design it, all you got to do, take your scissors and just cut it. Now, it's pretty thick now, so it's going to be kind of a fight to get it done. And you're going to have to work some edges around. But I will have the stronger scissors ready for you. And if you have to use the smaller scissors, then you can just... um cut it like a razor knife. It really is tough. There's one end. Now I just gotta get the second end done. And if it does get really hard for you, like halfway through, just cut, off, cut it off in sections. And it'll be a little bit easy for you to cut them. Now, since I did cut this before the glue sealed, I have some edges that actually overlapped with other edges, which is okay. I can either keep it like that or I can just trim it off if I want to. But just for the sake of the video, I'm going to keep it the way it is because it still is pretty proportional. All right, so the next step is to make the axle holders for your axles. What you're going to do, that, do with that is you're going to take your paper clip, both of them, and you're going to unfold it and try to fold into something like this. All right, the hole should be big enough that the axle can stick through and spin real freely. Not like this, okay, this is just an example, okay? If it was like this, you'd be bouncing around a lot. But something more along the lines like this. 
Then you're gonna stick it into the back of your dragster and then hot glue it to the ends. But still make sure that when you stick your axle in, you got enough free spin in there. So it's not getting stuck, it's not getting jiggled, but you got enough spin in there. Now we're gonna work on the front part. For that, you just need your McDonald's straw, cut it to the length, or the, actually the width, of your dragster. And then just run a small bead of hot glue straight across. And then don't force the straw down, just gently sit it on there and allow it to dry. If you force it down, it's going to compress the straw and then the axle won't be able to spin through. But if you just set it on there, the straw is not compressed and the axle can still fit in and spin without any, um, can't even think of the word, without any interference. Next one we'll show you how to glue the wheels to the axle. Now I'm going to show you how to glue your axle to your wheels. What you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to get a piece of paper and trace your wheel so that the paper matches it and cut it out. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the paper and you're going to fold it in half one way just like that and fold it in half again. Now when you unfold it, you're going to see the exact center of the circle. You're going to take your paper template now, put it over top of your wheel, and take a pen or a pencil, whatever is best for you, and right through the center of the circle, just kind of stab it through. Make sure you get into the cardboard as well. And then you'll see you found pretty much the exact center of your wheel. The reason why you have to do this is because if your wheels all center at all, it's going to throw off the movement of the vehicle. Instead of rolling smoothly, it's just going to kind of bump around. So make sure you find the exact center of your wheel. Make sure to do the same thing to the other side. Down through, make the hole a little bit bigger so you can see it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my axle and I'm actually going to try to work it through my wheel. Just That was pretty easy for me, but some may have wheels that are a little bit harder. Now once I get it through, I'm going to stick it right on the end, just like that. Make sure it's completely straight up and down. Don't make sure it's angled at all. Straight up and down, 90 degrees. Now I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to glue, and as I'm gluing, I'm going to slowly rotate the axle and the wheel. Just make sure I have a nice even coat of hot glue the whole way around the wheel. Now you just got to wait for it to dry a couple minutes. As you're waiting for the glue to dry, the next thing you want to do is actually cut a center piece out of the middle of your dragster. So when the rubber band is wrapping around the axle, it's not getting interfered with the actual body of the car. All you gotta do there is try to find the center of your vehicle. Try to make a one inch space, little deep back um, section, and then just cut it out. I already did this, so you're gonna kinda have something that looks something like this. Now the axle is gonna fit right in between here and when the rubber band's wrapping around it and it's unwrapping, it's not going to get interfered with the body of the vehicle. Now that our wheel and our axle is dry, we're now going to slide it in here through our paper clips. 
and we're going to glue the other end to the other side of the axle. Now what I usually do is I just put a little bit of hot glue right in the middle of the wheel. Just a nice little puddle work. And then I'm going to stick the axle in. And for this one here, you're actually going to have to sit here and hold it for a little while. Okay, and after a while, it'll dry and you'll have a completely straight and level back axle wheel. Alright, so now we have the back glued on and now you have the front glued on. You pretty much do the same thing with the front you did to the back, only you're sliding it through the straw instead of trying to slide through the paper clips. The next step is to take a paper clip again and fold it into just something like this. Then what you're going to do is a little behind the front wheels, you're going to try to stick it into the cardboard. If you don't get it right away, it's fine. Just take a pen and just start out, just start your hole. Be careful not to poke yourself though because it will hurt. may take some time, you gotta work it through, and you want to try to get it so the holes go to the other side of the vehicle. And now that I got it through, I'm going to want to fold this down, just like this. And now if you look at the top, And look at the bottom, this is what we're looking for here. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hot glue and at the bottom of my vehicle, I'm actually going to glue the one end of the paper clip down so it stays sealed. I don't want this, piece, this paper clip coming up at all, so because this is where the rubber band is going to be held, and if this comes up off the ground, it's going to lose tension in the rubber bands and not allow the vehicle to go as fast or go as far. So you're going to want to make sure it stays glued down, stays solid, so then you would have as much tension on the rubber bands when you're pulling it back as possible. So while that is drying, we're now going to tie our rubber bands together. You're going to need about three or four rubber bands. I'm going to go with about four and I'm going to tie them together. Now how to do this is you get two rubber bands, you stick the one inside the other one, kind of like this, and then fold it in and over, like that, and pull them out, just like that. Then you just do that same thing over and over again until you get the amount that you want. In, just like this. Now take the end that's already been tied already and dip that over. So then you have a longer rubber band. Now the last step is we're going to tie our rubber bands to our dragster. So same thing, dip it in, take the long end, stick it through the small end, and pull it through. Just like this. Now what's going to happen now is this rubber band is going to wrap around your axle here, just like so, and then when it's ready to spin, you're going to put it on the floor, and we got movement. Okay, so I try to make a test run, and I'm realizing the straw isn't going to work. Alright, as much as we want it to, it's not going to work. Now what we can do is we can cut off pieces of the straw and allow for smaller sections or just take two more paper clips, fold them like we did the back, and glue them to the bottom of your base. Alright, again, make sure the axle can fit through it, but we think this will be a more efficient replacement compared to using the straw as our axle holder. So, 
make sure to take this into note before you test. I will also tell you during class so when you do get to this point, you'll already have made the switch. Now see, the great thing about the engineer design process is anytime there's an actual problem with your vehicle, if it doesn't want to move, all you gotta do is identify where the problem is, follow the steps, and you pretty much can solve it. With this vehicle, I had to try two or three times to solve it, but finally, I was able to wrap the rubber band up with the axe like this. Let go, and there it goes.